Practice the exercise 6.2 even numbers. We're asked to write a method named even numbers. So we'll have a public static void even numbers with parentheses and brackets like this. We need to accept a scanner as a parameter. So we'll have scanner scan. And the reason why we're accepting a scanner as a parameter is because in this main method that they have already written for us, it is inputting from a file that contains a series of integers, which is this and reports various statistics about the integers. We may assume that there is at least one integer in the file. If we didn't have this, we would have to check first if there was a next int in here. Since we don't need that, we can just write this out like this and now start writing in our code. So in here, we need to print this, the amount of numbers so we can make an integer called numbers and set this equal to zero. We also need a sum, which is also an integer. So we'll have imp sum and set this equal to zero. And then we need to ha know how many evens there are. So we'll have int evens and set this equal to zero. Since these are all in the same line, we actually don't need this int because they're all going to be declared by the single int. They just need to be separated with commas. Now that we have this, we can start writing our code. So we need to count, we need a while loop to go through all of this. And we'll, we'll do while scan dot has next. Has next int, this should be, because we are getting integers. These are all integers. And in here, once we run this while loop, we know that we have a number. So we'll have numbers plus plus. Next thing that we're gonna do is actually get this int and store it. So we'll do int, and we can call this current, because it'll be the current int, and set this equal to scan.nextInt. After we have this, we need to add it to the sum right here. So all we need to do is sum plus equals, since we're adding it to the previous number, and set this equal to current. The reason why we are not just putting scan.next int into here is because we need to check if this current value is odd or even. We'll have an if statement that does this for us and we'll do if current modulus 2 and we always use modulus to check if it's even or odd and we'll set this equal to 0. But basically what this is saying if current divided by 2 does not have a remainder then it's 0. So let's say if we take 5 and we divide it by 2 it's gonna have a remainder but if we have 8 and divide it by 2 we get no remainder. So that means we know it's even. So in here, and if we wanted the opposite of this, let's say we wanted odd numbers instead of even, this would be just not. So in here, we're just gonna have evens plus plus, that's all we need. And then we can break out of our while loop and start printing things out since it seems that we have all of our information. We'll have a line. And in here, we want to have our numbers and then sum. So we're going to print out numbers plus the string numbers, comma, and then sum. We're going to set this equal to the actual sum, which is sum just like this. And then we're going to have another system.out.print line and in our print line we are going to have the even numbers so we'll say evens plus and then we'll have these parentheses and then we need a space evens a parenthesis and then inside of here we need this number which will be the um, number of evens divided by the numbers so we'll have 8 divided by 12 and we can store this outside. We'll do um, just so it doesn't confuse things. Or we could actually do it inside here. We'll do plus, and then in here we'll do evens divided by numbers. And since this is a percentage, it's going to need to be multiplied by 100. And since it's a double, it needs to be 0, .0 since these are all integers. We'll have a plus, and then inside of here we we'll have just have our last parenthesis. And the fact that we're actually doing math in here 
but it's surrounded by these pluses might cause confusion. So we are actually going to store this outside. We'll call this a double and we'll say temp and set this equal to this. And we will just print out temp. And if we submit this, we need to put in the semicolons. And it'll run it and we notice we that we have an error on this last line. And that error is that it doesn't print anything out. Nothing gets printed out. And if we look at this, there is an issue with this temp. The way our math is done won't um, solve this completely because we have evens divided by numbers. This won't um, work in Java. There's just some issue here. What we need to do is format this also because a double is multiple numbers after the decimal place and we just want two numbers after the decimal place so the easiest way to solve this entire problem for this line is to get rid of that and use a system dot out dot print f to format and inside of here we are going to format our values we'll have our string because we are taking the, um, our string first we'll have eight or not eight um, we need to format uh, this this is going to be how many evens we have so we just want to input our evens to do this we'll just do percentage decimal that's how we format a integer or percentage D not decimal percentage D is how we format an integer and after that we'll have a comma and have our actual integer which is sum. now we will write evens space we need a parenthesis, we'll need another parenthesis, and we need a percentage sign here. So we'll have two percentage signs because that is the format for this string, or for this, uh, yeah, for this string. And then in here, we need to format this 66.67. So what we're going to do, we need a percentage, and we need an F. That's how you format a float for this double. And then we want it only two places after this decimal, so we're going to do 0.2. We're going to have a comma, so we can put our number in here. And what we're going to do is we have our evens divided by our numbers. And we are multiplying this by 100. 0. We need this 0 because these are integers, and we need to make this a double. If we submit this now, after we put a semicolon, we still have an issue. And I think it is because I should put this 100 actually out front, in front of evens, like this. And if we run it now, there's still an issue, but it's a different issue. Our 66.67 is correct, and it might have been correct the last time, so I'll move it back over there to show it doesn't matter. But it does not want our sum here. It wants the number of evens. So we'll have evens. And if we submit that, we still have an issue. I guess this 100 does need to be out front, so we will move it out front like this. And I think it's because um, Java, for some reason, even if you run this... If you, even if you just do evens over numbers, evens being 8, numbers being 12, for some reason it doesn't like a lower power in the numerator. So we need this to be a higher power, and once it's a higher power in the numerator over the denominator, and we submit that, we have passed the test. So to do this problem, we need to use formatting, which I did a video more in depth on, which will be linked below, and that will help more understand this and it also links to our website that goes even more in depth into formatting but this is the code that will give us this output and solve this problem